Hi, I'm Em from 21 Readers. Today we're reacting to the June Book of the Month picks. Finding out the new picks is my favorite part of being a Book of the Month member because it's fun to research the new releases coming out. Last month I picked Breathless, the thriller pick, and I gave it three stars. I also have a quick story time before we get into Book of the Month predictions for June. I live in an apartment building where all the packages get delivered in a package room so you can see what everybody gets. And last week, the last week of May, I saw a Book of the Month box in my apartment's package delivery room and it wasn't mine since I got mine the first week of May. It was my first ever book of the month box that I've seen in real life that wasn't mine because I don't know anyone in real life that uses book of the month. It was definitely a moment where I did a double take and then I was thinking oh did this person see my book of the month box in real life and that's how they found out about book of the month. Probably not. They probably found out from a friend or social media. But then again, we do have a package room, so she could have seen my delivery and then been influenced to join Book of the Month. Anyway, that was my little anecdote of something interesting that happened to me this month regarding Book of the Month. I also went to an AJR concert this month and got this jacket because I was like, I'm definitely gonna wear this, but I definitely probably won't. So I'm using this video as an excuse to wear it since it kind of matches the Book of the Month box and Breathless. So. Here we go. Now that we're done with the two anecdotes, we'll start with the predictions. I have two predictions for this month. My first prediction for the month is You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Akweke Emese. This is the same author as The Death of Vivek Oji, which was a previous book of the month pick. I gave that book five stars. It was absolutely beautiful. This one is also going to be a literary fiction, but there's going to be a romance at the center. My next prediction is definitely more of a long shot, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. I'm predicting So Happy For You by Celia Lasky. It's an LGBT contemporary fiction. It releases June 7th. And from what I've gathered, looking at keywords in the plot summary, we're following a wedding gone wrong basically this one's a cynical look at the wedding industry it sounds like a wild ride that's more of a long shot but then again maybe it's not a long shot because book of the month has been picking a lot of authors lately who are new to being book of the month authors so not as many repeat authors such as how emily henry's book didn't get picked last month all right here we go reacting to the june picks all right here we go we have the stardust thief by chelsea abdullah a fantasy we have The Lies I Tell, The Thriller Pick by Julie Clark. We have The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn, a contemporary fiction. We have Things We Do in the Dark, another thriller pick by Jennifer Hillier. We have Woman of Light by Callie Fajardo and Stein, a literary fiction. We have a historical fiction, The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle by Jennifer Ryan. All right, so this month there are six picks. Immediately, my first thought is that I'm most interested in the Julie Clark book, but before we make any decisions, let's look into these more in depth. All right, first we have The Stardust Thief, the fantasy pick by Chelsea Abdullah. It says, like a certain famous lamp, this novel will grant wishes for a perfect fantasy with dark magic and a dangerous quest. Let's find out more about this on Goodreads. But it's another month in a row that we have a fantasy pick because we had Darling Girl last month. All right, this one was published on May 17th. Oh yeah, and also within the last week, Goodreads updated their interface, so it's a little bit different. Whereas the tags, the tags we see here, fantasy, adult, high fantasy, that's right at the bottom, whereas it used to be on the right side. And then we also have to click this to see the other editions. This is slowly turning into a let's review and react to the new Goodreads interface. But another thing that I've noticed over the past few days that I do like about this new interface, it doesn't really apply to the book of the month picks, but if you're looking at reviews, I like how you can sort, or I like how it breaks it down a little bit easier to see where you can see how many reviewers rated it, five stars, four stars, three stars. I like this breakdown of the reviews better. I know you could kind of see it like this in the old way, but this way lays it out a little bit better. Back to the book. I will not be picking this fantasy book because I do not read much fantasy, but I am glad that fantasy readers have another fantasy option. And it looks like this is the first in a series, the Sansi trilogy. All right, next we have The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark, a repeat author. This twisty cat and mouse story will have you ripping through the pages to find out who the true con woman is. Psychological thriller with female friendships, unreliable narrator. I recognize Julie Clark's name from The Last Flight. I actually have that book, right? I actually have this book on my shelves that I have not read. Let me pull it up. I have The Last Flight, Julie Clark's previous thriller that was a book of the month pick. It's not the book of the month version, but I haven't read this. 
but maybe this would be a great opportunity for me to try her out, the Wasp Light with the Lies I Tell. Let's find out more about this one on Goodreads. All right, so this one's an early release. It releases June 21st. It's only 320 pages. I don't wanna read the plot summary, but keywords that I'm noticing here in the plot description are con artist, and that's all I need to know. I think I'm definitely leaning towards picking this for my pick. Kind of like how I hadn't read any Simone St. James for my March pick, and then I went ahead and read the three most recent releases of hers. I'm thinking I haven't read this, it's been on my shelf, so maybe that would be a great opportunity to read The Last Flight and also Navalize I Tell. The Last Flight, wow, it has over 100,000 ratings. I didn't realize it was that popular. And then she also had a less popular book in 2018 called The Ones We Choose. Is that thriller as well? Okay, that one's contemporary fiction, not thriller. All right, next, number three, we have The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn. This provocative novel asks a salacious question. Why settle for the one when you could swing for twice the fun? Book of the Month is categorizing this as contemporary fiction, but over on Goodreads, it's categorized as romance first. It's coming out June 7th. Jasmine Guillory blurbed it on this Goodreads blurb. It looks like there's gonna be talk of maybe open relationships or polyamory. I'll definitely wait to hear people's thoughts on this one before trying this one out. But there we have it. That's The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn, the contemporary fiction pick this month. All right, and next we have Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier. Oh, it's an early release. It says, caught in the paparazzi's glow after her husband's murder, Paris Peralta quickly learns all that glitters isn't gold. Peralta, and then the little emojis they have here are buzzy, murder, unsettling, and multiple viewpoints. I forgot that these emojis were a thing until last month when I was looking at the add-ons, and then I was like, oh, I haven't been looking at the emojis. So I'm gonna try to remember to look at these emojis when I'm reacting to these as well. All right, Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier. Okay, this is quite an early release. It says July 19th, so we're getting it basically six weeks in advance. Okay, paparazzi, murder. Oh, and it looks like we're going back in time to the early 90s. So regarding this author, I have previously read their book Jar of Hearts after hearing it very hyped up on booktube, and that book was not for me. I gave it one star. It was really disturbing, and I won't be picking up anything else from this author because of my experience with Jar of Hearts. However, I don't want that to deter anyone from choosing this as their pick because if this sounds like something you would be into, a story you'd be interested in, I'm sure it has its audience. That audience just isn't me. And that's why I'm not considering this one as a pick. Even though I do like thrillers, this thriller author just isn't for me. I'm glad this author is getting a lot of hype for this summer release. If you enjoy Jar of Hearts and Little Secrets, I hope this one lives up to your expectations about this author. All right, next we have Woman of Light by Callie Fajardo Anstein. It says that's literary fiction. Let's see the emojis here. Okay, this one's LGBT. I was wondering if they were gonna have an LGBT pick for Pride. All right, it says social issues, slow build, graphic violence, and LGBT. This epic yet intimate story shows three generations of women trying to make a life in the perilous 30s American West. All right, so this one's shelved as historical fiction and literary fiction. I don't read a lot of historical fiction. The fact that this has three female main characters that we're following over a long period of time. It kind of reminds me of a recent five star I had called Notes on an Execution that had three female characters that we're following over a long period of time. This one's not tagged as LGBT on Goodreads, but I'm noticing that it is on the Book of the Month website. Okay, this one's definitely gonna be on my radar because I don't read a lot of historical fiction, but the historical fiction that I do read, especially ones with LGBT themes, I do really enjoy. So this one's now on my radar. I'm not gonna pick it for my book of the month since I'm gonna pick the Julie Clark, but I'll definitely have this on my radar, this cover of this author name on my radar to place a hold at my library when it comes in. It looks like this author's most popular work is called Sabrina and Karina, short stories it looks like, published in 2019 with 9,000 ratings and it's a short story collection. All right, the last pick, sixth pick, is The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle by Jennifer Ryan, a historical fiction. Prepare to be inspired by this winning story of women challenging expectations laid on them during World War II. And the emojis are inspirational, real life characters, female friendships, and war. <laughs> this definitely seems like this will satisfy people that read a lot of World War II books. And this one publishes today, May 31st. This author's most popular book is called The Chilberry Ladies Choir, published in 2017. Of the two historical fiction, I'm definitely more interested in Women of Light than 
this one because it might be a typical World War II story, kind of like how the Nightingale is like my top tier World War II story. I don't feel like I need another one. Whereas this other historical fiction, Women of Light, seems like we would learn more about these people's perspectives and that it's about a time period that I haven't learned about. So if I were in a historical fiction mood, I would pick up The Woman of Light over The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle. We finished looking at the six books. I'm definitely picking The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark. I didn't have much deliberation on that one. And I'm looking forward to reading both of her books now, The Lies I Tell and The Last Flight. What a great excuse to finally read this author. Here we go, it's happening, The Lies I Tell, make my book of the month. Okay, now to look at the add-ons. I hope I remember which ones are new. I think the Ellen Hildebrand is the only new one. That one releases June 14th. So I know Ellen Hildebrand has her fans. For fans of Ellen Hildebrand, that's exciting that you get to have this as an add-on this month. And I'm definitely hoping for a Riley Sager add-on next month. Tell me in the comments what you picked for your June book of the month pick. And for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.